Hello and welcome to this webinar. This webinar will be in English. Hello. Hello and welcome to this webinar. My name is Martin Wilner. I am head of software engineering here at the Dynamic Projection Institute. And today I will show you some very nice things about dynamic projection. It's about all about the mirror head. It's all about dynamic projections. And in this webinar, you will learn how to use the mirror head, how to use our MDCX media server, and what accessories we have, what kind of projectors we support, and how the mirror head really works, and what amazing things you can do with the mirror head. Okay, first I will start with the mirror head. The mirror head is a very sophisticated, high technology product. It is basically a mirror, a high precision mirror, which moves in two axes, pan and tilt, and it reflects and redirects the beam of the projector. Later on, I will show you some detailed photos and some videos where you will see precisely how the beam goes out of the projector and is redirected with the mirror. Behind me, you'll see a short video where you can see the beam moving from the mirror. Okay, so what is the mirror head and how to use it? The mirror head, as I said before, uses a mirror to redirect the beam of the projector. And it's made out of steel. It's very heavy. It's very sturdy. So we need this. Why? Because we want to have a product that is stable on the wall, stable in the truss, stable on the ceiling, does not vibrate. Things that are light turn sometimes to vibration. So a heavy product makes it almost impossible to have body vibrations. So on the top, you have this white cap. Below this white cap, there's something magic. It's called LED. So the mirror head is able to glow and make ambient light. Later on, I will show you how you can do this live or program it. If you have a product like the mirror head where you redirect the image, like behind me on the wall, you need something to control it. The mirror head itself can be controlled over DMX. It has a DMX input on the backside or ArcNet. Just moving the image is nice. You can do lots of stuff by just redirecting good content like a ball or something like that in the room. But if you want perspective correction, if you want mapping, if you want more, you need some software and hardware to do all these controls. So our second main product is the MDCX, the Media On Demand Control Media Server. The MDCX is a small, very versatile server. It's also not plastic. Uh, it comes with integrated Wi-Fi. It comes with all the connections you need, ArtNet, LAN, output ports for the programming monitor and the mirror head. It's built for, to last. So this is the product you really want. It also comes with a pre-installed operating system, Linux, in this case. It's customized for our special purpose. It comes with the MDC software, which allows you to do all the controls, do all the mapping stuff, to all the animations, to all the preset programming and all that stuff. You really need to do amazing shows to go to your customers and say how this is the product you want to gather with the mirror head to get the most out of it and do the best shows. You see, this mirror here is moving. It's connected to the mirror head behind the camera, which is doing all the projections back there. I connected it so you can also see this mirror moving, even though there is no projector down there. But I think it's, it's nice to see something moving while the real projection is going on. So if you have a mirror head and a heavy project projector, this can be very small. This can be very, very big. 
it can be a phosphor laser product or it can be a conventional uh, projector, you need something to mount it, to mount it on the ceiling, to mount it on the wall, to mount it on the truss. So depending on the size of the projector, we offer different kind of mirror heads. They differ in size, but they do not differ in precision. Why? Because the head of the mirror head, the mirror, the motors, and all the important mechanical parts stay the same, no matter how big your projector is. This is very good. So the masses we are moving around, like the motor and the mirror, always stays the same. So once you get familiar with a small version of the mirror head, which is very precise, you can easily go up to a bigger projector or another projector by a bigger mirror head for some installation, and you also get the same precision. It's very important. But precision needs something hard, sturdy, where you can mount it. So we offer different kinds of mounts to mount the mirror head. Let's say this one here. It's also made of steel. It's for wall mounting. It offers a Visa connector here where you can easily mount the MDC media on demand control directly onto the wall. This is for exhibition installations, very, very common. Then we offer different kinds of mounts for the ceiling. Later we show you some detailed pictures. This is something for you can mount on the ceiling where you can hang, hang it down there with the mirror down or the mirror up. Here you see a mirror up installation in a floor stand, which I will show you later also. If we talk about dynamic projection, uh, sometimes people get confused what is dynamic projection. If you're talking about moving images, we're talking about film. A moving image is something that moves in time. But the mirror head offers a new possibility. The mirror head offers the possibility to move in space, not only in time. So once you have a picture, let's say a very simple spotlight like this, over to here, you have a simple white spotlight. It does not move in time. But the mirror head offers the possibility to move it in space. See? Well, you will say that's just a light. It's just like a scanner. You can do some, some light. Yeah, of course, it's like a moving scanner. But what I can do is I can change the content in real time. I can do some clouds and move the clouds around in the room. Well, that's what the mirror head, mirror head makes possible. I'm controlling this in real time with MDC Touch. MDC Touch is also a product we developed and it offers you real-time communication with the MDCX Media On Demand server. So it's very nice. You can have some program and preset locations in your room. And let's say here you have the motorcycle through Vienna, and then you just move to the next frame. You just move down to the cube, and then, well, you go back to your main location. All you see is done by the mirror head and the MDCX. The MDCX controls the mirror, chooses the media, changes the distortion of the media, and the mirror head reflects the image and brings it out to the wall or to the seat down there or somewhere else in the room. Just your imagination controls where the picture goes. I will now go to my desktop computer and show you some very, very exciting images, some more technical information so you get familiar with our product and start to learn how you can use the mirror head and how you can get the most out of it. I will start uh, with some basic information about us, who we are, what we do, and what dynamic projection is all about. First, I want to say that you get all the information I'm telling you, all the technical information and all the specs and all the 
videos you will see here on our website, www.dynamicprojection.com at any time. You can also send us email, contact us, subscribe our newsletters, subscribe our YouTube channels. There will be some tutorials coming up during the next weeks. So please use all this information you can get and contact us. We have also a Vimeo channel where you can see the latest videos of installations which have been done with the mirror head and the MDCX. They are very inspiring. So if you want to learn how dynamic projection really works and what you can do with it, just go to this uh, Vimeo channel of us. It's also dynamic projection. It's linked from our website and you get all the information you really need. So who we are, uh, I do some company presentation now. So what's interesting? Interesting is to project not only on screens, it's also important to, to project somewhere else, like on a sofa, a floor, a wall, a ceiling, a cube. Well, that's called mapping. Basically, on the right side, you see a mapped sofa. Here you see some sail. If you have a projector with a small area of projection, so a long throw ratio, you cannot get both at the same time but you can, can get them one after another with the mirror head. You just project on one side, then you project on the next side. Well, you can even change the texture of the object, of course, because you have your mapping and you just change it like this. It goes beyond screen and monitors. Well, before I showed you some animations from one frame to another, to the cube, to the, to the seat, and on the wall, well, that's far beyond screens. And moving around a picture in the room, something very new. It's very dynamic. So here's some facts about our company. It was incorporated 2013 in Vienna by Thomas Kühne, who founded it and is the current leading the company and is the, the creative head behind all the innovations. All the products you see here are manufactured in Austria and also developed in Austria. It's very important because we want to have a high quality product and we want to get do and get the best things possible. And we, there are also the electronic parts are produced here in Austria and also designed here by our partners. We work, to, we work close uh, together with uh, creative producers and cre the creative industry to get lots of feedback how our product should work to get to make the creative people happy and to do the best for them. Our key products, as I told before, are the mirror head on the left side. Here you see it with a big projector. And on the right side, you see the MDC media server. These are our key pro main key products. As I, I tell you again, the mirror head is reflecting the image. The mirror head is doing all the software stuff. You can use the mirror head on the left with any DMX control table to move the mirror because the mirror is DMX controllable or ArtNet. Later on, I will show you how to connect the mirror head to the MDCX. So then I will tell you how you can do the technical connections. Again, here you see the mirror head in a floor stand. Now this time it's not hanging, it's just standing in a floor stand. The floor stand is very nice because you can just go somewhere, place your mirror head on a table and do your show right out of the box. It, it's very, very, very nice not to have mounted on the table or on the ceiling. The mirror is very flexible. Flexible is because you move it around in the room you can move it 180 degrees horizontally, 90 degrees up and down, and even 162 degrees on the back side if you enable this mode. It's a special mode. You can always change it in the firmware by just pressing a few buttons. Our second main product is the MDC Media Server. And the MDC Media Server, as I told you before, is a very, very uh, state-of-the-art combination of hardware and software to control the mirror head, media content, and output devices. The media controlling software, MDC, offers functions like media manipulation, geometric correction, seamless transformations, preset, ArtNet, DMX control, and all that kind. 
all these functions can be used at the same time in real time for a wide range of creative development and production applications. How you can use the mirror head and NDCX and in general speaking, how you can use dynamic projections. Well, the sky is the limit. No, your imagination is the limit because uh, if, you, if your projector is strong enough, you can even, even project on clouds. So where you can use it on business locations, shopping windows, showrooms, exhibition booths, museums, restaurants, waiting areas, event locations. You can make a big show with just one projector because you can move the image around. How? Well, I will show you something. Here you see a still image of the, one of our videos where you can see the reflection of the projector on the mirror. You see here is the lens, here's the strong beam. I go forward and here you see the image moving around. You can show, uh, you can look at the whole video later because on the stream it's a little bit not smooth enough to show, but it's on this video, on this YouTube channel, so you can watch it uh, and see how the mirror moves. And the mirror head offers lots of possibilities because you're not bound to one place. You're not bound to one screen. You can just move like here, the image around in the room and make amazing, amazing illusions. It's very, 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 very amazing. So again, here's another video I want to show you. You have here a few sofas. You move the image, you scroll over, boom, bang. Here you see again a slogan and then the image moves around. You can even do animations in a room. Here you have some mapping and then up to the wall. Things like that, moving the image away from an object and moving somewhere else is something new. People always want it because how to do that? They are looking at it and think how they do that. Because if you don't see the projector, if you don't see the mirror head, it's amazing. It's a very amazing feature. Before I go to all the technical details, something more. Here you have a big panorama. This is about in width almost 11 meters and 2 meters 50 high. And it's made out of three mirror heads controlled by one experimental MDCX server. And here you see it's all in real time. You can change the media whenever you want in real time. This video is also online on this YouTube channel. And you can do with mirror heads some crazy panoramas. You can do it diagonal over the walls with all the perspective corrections all possible. And it's done in real time. All, everything with the MDCX is done in real time. So maybe you will think, wow, that must be very difficult to program. It must be very difficult to use. Well, I tell you, no. It's basically very, very simple if you keep some basic things in mind, like where to project what and how. And the next thing is, how do I connect all these things? Are there many cables? Is there just a few cables? I show you how to do a quick installation of the mirror head. When you get the mirror head, it's without the projector because the mirror head is available for many, many different kinds of projectors. On our website, we have a compatibility list for which projectors uh, the mirror head is available. And you see here are all the major brands from and all from the major brands, you have different kinds of projector series from very small ones to big laser projectors. So we offer everything for the small projector up to the big projector. So once you get it, you screw some uh, screws into your projector, mount the mirror head, adjust the mirror head, connect the mirror head to the projector over RS. Uh, a serial cable to do remote control, like lamp on, lamp off, uh, shutter on, off, and things like that. After you have done your 
mounting of the projector on the mirror head. You can mount it on the wall or on the ceiling using different kinds of clamps. I will show you later the clamps. Here is the wiring. Connect the mirror head to the projector. As I said before, connect the power. Connect the video source to the projector. Connect the mirror head to the computer. This here could be your MDCX Media On Demand control server. Optional, you can connect DMX directly to the mirror head. When you do this, you do this if the image does not come from our MDCX and we don't control the, the mirror with MDCX. If you use some other kind of big software, mapping software, something like that, you can keep the right thing, the right part out of this picture. Just connect with DMX, whatever you want, move the mirror, do your image correction with whatever you want, do your show. Here you see the connections of the mirror head. The document I'm showing you is the quick installation guide that comes with the mirror head. It's also available for download. So you can always access this information. Here you see the technical sheets of the mirror head accessories, different kinds of clamps. Here you see the extended clamp. It's for ceiling mounting and a mirror down position. This position is very good if you want to project down. And this is one kind. Here you have a small floor stand. It's for the lighter projector series where you can put the projector uh, inside, just put it inside, stand it on the floor. Floor or presentation stand is useful on a table like I showed you before. Here you have the floor stand heavy. The floor stand heavy is also for mounting on a truss stand and it's for the heavy projectors 30 kilograms and, and up it's very very heavy it's all made of steel all mounts you see here are made of steel here you have truss mount here you have the mount the wall mount with the extension for the mdcx mounting and here you have the truss bracket mount for the smaller mirror head, the MH8, the smallest series. It's only one, one arm here to, to mount it here for the wall or ceiling. So you see all accessories, all parts of our products do have uh, technical information and all dimensions and everything. So here you see, now we go through the mirror heads. Here you see the smallest mirror head, the mirror head MH8. It's the smallest one. And now we go up to the bigger ones. And when I scroll down, you see that the part, as I told you at the beginning, the mirror, the motor, and all this stuff keeps the same in size, the electronic also only. The body around the mechanical stuff changes to get uh, to mount the projectors perfectly onto the mirror head. So there are no complications, no vibrations and things like that. So in the next step, I will show you, let me see. Well, yes, uh, I told you the quick installation of the mirror head. So the next step is how to do the installation of the MDCX media server. And now the nice thing is, you all know, once you get a computer, there's always the thing setting it up, doing updates, how to connect it. Sometimes it's very difficult. Uh, media systems tend to be difficult because the output and everything like this. The good thing is the Media X media server for the mirror head comes ready to go. It's pre-configured for the mirror head. It's pre-configured for the output. It even comes with a small test project where you can just start it and well, you can move the mirror around, do some basic projection and things like that. I show you how to connect it. Well, it's very easy. Scroll in here. Here you see the MDCX backside, as I showed before. And all you have to do is connect the MDCX with the mirror head with a TCP IP cable. It's called network cable. Connect the projector on the mirror head with the HDMI cable here. Connect your monitor or and keyboard to the MDCX. Why? Because the MDCX can also be accessed via remote desktop if you don't want a monitor and keyboard. 
All the information about MDCX and MDC will be covered tomorrow in detail on our web webinar two, where we, get, where we start uh, presenting you the MDC software on the MDCX and start programming a small show. It's all done in one hour and you will learn how to use it and how to make your own shows with MDC and MDCX. After you connected everything, well, that's all. It's all pre-configured. You just go to the desktop and start your first project. If you want it very easy, you can use MDC Touch. What is MDC Touch? MDC Touch is the media on demand control surface. I showed you before in the camera, uh, I was using it and moving it around where I moved the spot. The MDC Touch is, um, is a software that runs on the MDCX server. And you can access this with any tablet, with any mobile phone, or any web browser on any computer in your network to control the current show that is running. And this is what I want to show you now, how to do this. I will switch over now to the MDC Touch interface, and Gary will see some very nice So now I'm here at the MDC Touch interface. And this interface is also the one that I showed you before on the tablet, on the screen. Later on, I will show it again in live mode. What is MDC Touch? It offers you all the system configurations and projects. You have a status of the system itself, the load. You have a mirror status, your output status. You can have playlists. You can have projects. You can have automatization of projects. You can control the mirror head and the projector. Well, what you can do, you can do lamp on, lamp off of the projector. You can start your mirror head. You can do LED and motors off of the mirror head. You can do shutdown, calibrations, and all things like that. You can also do setup. Setup of the outputs, setup of the mirror head, setup of the communications remotely in and out. Because MDCX, our media server, is capable of being remotely controlled also, not only by MDC Touch, but also by OSC. Or in the future, it's coming soon, I can tell you that with DMX. So you, you cannot only control the mirror head with DMX, but also the MDCX with DMX. So that's very nice. You can also do connection with KNX, a uh, bus system for lightning or house bus systems. We can communicate with that, or you can turn on the light in a room and the MDC starts to move a picture around or do some uh, special um, visualization. All the API is open. All the communications protocols are open. They are only string-based. They are very, very simple, easy to implement. Uh, no fuss, no worry. So if you have a technician in your company, it's very easy to use it. So when I go to a project right now, you see some presets, some maps, and some media. I will now go, go now back to the main screen and show you how MDC Touch works on in live mode. So I'm back again. And what I show you now is how to use the MDC Touch and what can it do for you. You will maybe ask, if I go to the frame like this and change a media to this, and then go back to Cube and then go back to the frame over and over again. How long can I do that until an error occurs? Well, I tell you, our system is that stable and that accurate that you won't get an error after 4,000 times. We do high precision laser measurements for the correction of how precise our mirror is. That point to point accuracy is lower than 0.01 degree after 4,000 repetitions. That's very accurate. 
So during some tests last summer, we had a fly in our room and we did some long uh, distance laser measurements about 30 meters over mirror system. And the fly was sitting down on the mirror and we saw the fly changing the angle. The reflection of the mirror was bigger than the, with the fly than the mirror itself did after 4,000 repetitions. So all the drive here, all the system is that accurate that we are very confident that it really works perfect. But what about vibrations? You know, vibrations from the floor, from people running and so, and so on are always a problem of high precision mapping and things like that. We did our best and do our best to get rid of vibrations. Here inside of the head, there is a vibration damper mounted that makes it possible to damp lots of vibrations. We try to kill anything, but it's not possible. What we can do, kill the most. The whole construction of the mirror head is for vi vibration killing. So when I go from one position to the other, like here, we do something dynamic. We're moving around. But how does it work? How do we do it? Well, we can do things like small movements or slow movements in the room. We can do big and fast movements. When you do dynamic projections, you always have to think, what do I present, where and how? This is the first important parts you have to think of because these are the basic facts that you have to know when you start. Why I'm telling you this? Because these are the main or basic concept parts of dynamic projection. When we have a movie on a, on a screen, we always have the where, because it's a screen, we, have, we are locked on the screen. What we present is what media is played on the screen. The how it is presented is the correction of the image, barrel distortion or some other kind of, of perspective correction. So the image comes perfect on the screen. Here with dynamic projection, you have another part. You have the part that you don't have a static correction at one place, but you can have many corrections at many places at many times, one after another. I show you. Here I have a spot again, and I move the spot to some place in the room. I'm changing the where, but I'm not changing the how, and I'm not changing the what. If I go over and change it to let's say a cloud, I'm changing the what and the where, and I do not change the how. But if I go here to the frame, I'm changing the where and how, because it's mapped into the frame. If you go to another frame, I'm changing also where, but not what, but I'm changing the how. And that's important. I will now show you how easy it is with our software and our MDCX and the mirror head to do things like this. And everyone can do it in very, very short time. The software I'm now showing you, MDC, is also available as a trial version for Windows for download. The Windows software is the same as the software on Linux, but, it's, but it lacks of the whole operating system down there. So all the automatization things, all the time schedules things, all the things you need at exhibitions, OSC remote control, proxy control, and all these things are only available on the MDCX hardware. But here you can get a, a software for free as a trial version with a small watermark inside where you can try it and make your confident to build shows later on with the mirror head. And tomorrow I will go deeply into the software and show you all the tricks and all the nice things you need to do, well, quick shows and all the things. And now I'm go back to my desktop again, start the software and show you how the basic steps are. I'm now changing to to my software. Okay. 
while I'm changing over to to the software, I it's available. So I'm now here at the MDC software. And what I'm doing now is I'm doing some very, very simple mapping of a media into the frame you have seen on the wall before. So I start with a, with a small uh, test image. And the MDC software always uh, needs three things if you want to do a, a, a mapping on a, on a position. The first thing is position. I go to DMX and yes, I see here the mirror. The mirror, when I move this bubble here, this white, the mirror in the room is moving. You can't see it now, but I will show you later what, what really happens. If I go here, and the next thing is I have the position now in the room. The next thing is I must change the correction. So what I do is I just cl click and drag here the corners of my image so they match the frame in the room. So what I've done now is I do the how do I project. Well, I have my where, the DMX, I have my how, I have my what, in this case it's just the, the media, a test image, and well, I can do also the bicycle. In the last step, what I do now is I save it. I save it as a, uh, we call it preset, and this preset, just double click and now the preset is saved. That's the preset number 80. Well, how does it look like on the wall? I'm changing back. And now you see here is the motorcycle. And you can also see here the small green bubbles I was dragging around. Now I'm using the software again. And now you see what happens in the room. When I change my perspective like this, you see, all I do is I drag the bubble into the correct corner. And that's it. Now I have one position with one preset. Well, that's my first projection mapping with MDCX. So when I go back, let's say, to this position, I can always go back to what I've done before by just clicking on the preset. What I've done, well, it's quite easy. What I've done is, I clicked on spot. Now you see, that's the same you've seen on the wall. And now I go back. And now I'm back where I am with my, with my mapping. As you see, it's very easy. All the shows, all the things you can do with the mirror head are based on this system. You have presets, you have maps, you have media, you have the exposition of the mirror. And you go from one step to another. And when you're done, you're connecting it. You connect your presets. You connect your media changes. You connect all the things so you get a perfect show. It's easy. You can also do deeper mapping, more mapping points, and so on. It's all covered tomorrow in the, in the webinar for programming. But for the first steps, well, that's it. If you can do that, you can do many, many shows, and it's very, very amazing what you can do with a small uh, few parts. Again, what else can we do with the mirror head? Um, I'm going back to main thing. I told you before that the mirror head offers some additional features, and one of the additional features is the LED here. The LED top is a RGB LED, and you can fade through all the colors. For demonstration purposes, I do the basic colors. It's blue, green, and red. If your color is not correct on your 
screen, well, it's the compression, I think, of the stream. But you can do all different kinds of color. You can even fade it up and down and things like that. Why we need it? Well, it's very nice to have something like that because sometimes you need some ambient light. You need some light in the room where you can do, uh, where you can show uh, things and the light gets better of the image and the room gets a small ambient temperature and something like that to get, uh, well, a more, to make things whole, to make it all together, to give a good light and, and light is what makes the image. So we need light, we need good light and we need perfect lightning. And the mirror head also here offers you a very good way to do some ambient lightning without additional lightning. You can control this, this LED head also over DMX. You may now ask, how does the mirror head look like with the big projectors and the <laughs> smaller projectors? And how does it all uh, look? I will show you now how, how, they, how they look and what they can do for you. So here I have uh, uh, the technical sheets or the product sheets, sorry, the product sheets of our products uh, and with some, some photos so we can go through this and I explain you something about the, the mirror heads. Here you see the smallest unit, the MH8 with a Vivitech D9 projector in a floor stand. You can see it also on floor, a wall mounting Here you see another one, D5000, it's a little bit bigger, it's another mirror head. And here you also see it on the floor stand. And maybe here this is in the truss or something like that. On the back side of all our data sheets, you see the fixture dimensions, the weight, the projector weights, the throw ratios, which projector can be mounted on this kind of mirror head, the throw ratio ranges, the, then what lenses we recommend, uh, what's the accuracy of the mirror head, and so on. So everything is on our product sheets, all dimensions. So you don't have to guess. You can read it all. Here you see another big one. As I told before, uh, the main is just another way of mounting it. Uh, as I told before, we support all the major brands with, uh, with the mirror head. So even the big laser projectors that are coming up now, here you see the, the Panasonic on the big uh, floor stand, on the big one, heavy, floor stand heavy. It's a very big unit. Here again, it's another, another one, neck PX. Uh, hanging here on the mirror head. And again, the good thing is you always have the same lens, uh, mirror, the same motor and the same accuracy all the time. So it's very, very good to get the same, to get same system no matter how big the, the projector is and what you do. So I hope uh, it was a short overview about our products. Later on, you will get uh, all the, the information for download as a package I showed you here. It's uh, the trial software, all the technical informations. Again, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channels. There are many tutorials coming up soon. And the tutorials will give you some uh, deep insight into the MDC software. Uh, tomorrow at 13 o'clock, there will be a short one hour uh, training for MDC software where we learn how to do your basic uh, mapping and so on and how to program. And with the, with the Vimeo, on the Vimeo channel, again, you will see all the videos we have done right now. 
There are many inspiring ways to do dynamic projections. Go to our website, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our newsletter, and I hope you will have many creative ideas with the Mannerhead. Don't hesitate to ask questions. You can send us email all the time. We're happy to ask, uh, to answer your questions, and I hope you had a good time. And well, that's all for now. Don't forget, the mirror head is your friend, and it's the revolution of doing projections, and it's the new way of, of using projectors. Believe me, in a few years, it will be the thing everyone wants, and it will be the, the newest and hottest stuff you will get. Have a nice day. The live stream will now stop. And thank you for attention, and good day. Bye-bye.